San Diego Wave Football Club. The name takes inspiration from the city's pristine and powerful coastline, and we have every intention of being a bold force in today's professional sports landscape. Today, we excitingly take our next step in the evolution of Wave FC with the reveal of our crest and colors. We are so, so, so incredibly proud and thrilled of this. It's such a representation of, of the vibrancy and the boldness of our club and what we're going to stand for. It is an absolute privilege to stand here as the head coach of this team. Um, I'm not a San Diego native, as you can hear, um, but I couldn't be happier with my introduction to this city and to you guys and to this club. We want to play an attacking game with really strong foundations. It's apt that these two are in the room based on that. We've made some incredible sign-ins. I feel really privileged as a head coach to lead these incredible women on the next steps of their journey. It means the world to me to be able to come home and um, actually make roots, settle down, see this as a long-term um, you know, partnership with this club, um, with this city. Uh, I actually have like six or seven family members here today. Um, you know, a, a 30 minute or two hour drive is much easier than a five hour flight. And um, now, you know, having a one and a half year old daughter, um, I want her to be around family. Um, I want to raise her in, you know, a community that I see myself proud of, uh, that I want to live in long term, that I want to dig into the community with her. Um, and, um, and that's going to be San Diego. I mean, you see how uh, just the wave introduced San Diego State, um, the Snapdragon uh, Stadium being our home field, but that's not going to be done into, until September. So obviously there's a short term um, stadium in place for that. So that's, you know, one of the, um, you know, potential problems that you see arise with ex expansion teams, just not having things quite, um, quite as ready as in a second or third year. Um, it also is a lot of new faces, so it's getting used to, um, not only getting used to your teammates and who you're playing with to the right and to your left because you've pretty much played against all of those players, you know, in the league prior, but it's also getting to know the front office, the coaching staff, like everyone is starting off at square one. So it's just a little bit more new, which, um, but which always creates excitement, but there's also, um, there's also a, steep, a steeper learning curve. I think I'm just most excited about making roots, you know, in, in a city that um, I'm excited to call home for many, many years. Um, in the start of a long journey together with, with the wave um, in, and being, uh, kind of being the first one to know about everything, the first one to know about the crest, about, um, about the jerseys, about you know, the, the training facility, the stadium, um, kind of having insight on that is really fun. Obviously the excitement, um, reuniting with Jill um, and being able to work with Casey um, was one of you know the most um, exciting parts about it and then having signed obviously Alex is um, you know world-class proven winner on every stage um, you know has scored amazing goals and has set so many records uh, you know so I think and then even just seeing like the fans in the stands already um, here at the crest reveal um, you can already tell that this is going to be such a special team um, you know, uh, there's so much excitement around uh, Wave FC and the possibility and potential of all that. So I think just like all of those um, things listed uh, is, is something that's, you know, really exciting and something that I'm looking forward to. Um, and, you know, I think like Casey said it the best, like soccer is seriously a way of life here. So I think that that is just so cool and exciting. and. Um, yeah, just can't wait to get out there. I think any journey is going to have some bumps, um, regardless of expansion team or, you know, a team that has been here since the beginning. Um, and I think, you know, it's just the ability to um, start new, start fresh, build on, you know, pillars that haven't even been built before. And having the ability and the, the say to be able to do that is something that's so cool and special and not a lot of people can say. Um, that I think it's also really cool that Alex has experience being a part of, you know, the Orlando expansion team, and um, I have no doubt that you know her leadership and qualities will come through um, in that sense as well. Um, but yeah, I think just pushing the standard on and off the field um, with this Wave FC team is going to be kind of um, hopefully what we're, we've we've uh, 
we are known for and will be known for. It's been incredible. I think, you know, there's just a buzz. There's a really exciting buzz around this team and um, finally bringing like a professional um, women's team back um, to this area after so long. I know there's like kind of this new era or generation of football being, you know, um, like made right here in, in uh, San Diego. So um, again, it's just exciting and we're really looking forward to the new year.